In today's video, I am going to show you how to create these split-screen film mats in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. You can see I have already set up a 4K resolution sequence, which will provide a crystal-clear backdrop for our project. The first step in creating split screens is to enable the safe margin on the program monitor. Next, we have to select the Rectangle tool from the toolbar. With this tool, I'm going to draw a shape that extends from the left edge of the safe margin toward the center of the screen. After after creating the rectangle, we need to switch back to the selection tool by clicking on this icon, and then go to the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see it, you can enable it by navigating to the Window menu. Once the panel is open, we can adjust the properties of our shape. For this project, I am going to change the shape's color to a bright white, which will provide a clean and modern aesthetic. To create a more rounded appearance for our shape, we can increase the corner radius using the Essential Graphics panel, which will smooth out the edges beautifully. In the following step, I will duplicate the graphic layer once. After duplicating, I'll carefully drag the newly created shape to the right corner of the safe margin, ensuring it's precisely positioned. As a result, we now have two distinct windows displayed on the screen. In the next step, we will focus on selecting the two graphic layers we have been working with. Once selected, right-click to bring up the context menu. From the options available, choose Nest to create a new placeholder. It's essential to give this placeholder a meaningful name, so I will name it Split Screen Placeholder. The primary purpose of creating this placeholder is to provide a streamlined way to add or remove split screens as needed. Now we need to create a new adjustment layer in the project panel. Here we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Once that's done, we can drag and drop the adjustment layer onto the timeline, positioning it where needed. Next, it's time to enhance the visual appeal by applying some effects that will introduce gritty and rough edges to our split screens. We will start by applying the rough and edges effect to the adjustment layer. Now, we will set the border value to approximately 11 to create a pronounced outline. Then, we will adjust the edge sharpness to about 10, giving the edges a more defined and textured look. Lastly, we will modify the scale property, setting it to around 18 to add a sense of depth and complexity to the effect. Once we have made these adjustments and see how they impact the overall composition, again, we have to apply another rough and edges effect to the adjustment layer. Now we have to select Rusty from the Edge Type parameter. We need to set the border value to approximately 23 to create a pronounced outline. Then, we have to adjust the edge sharpness to about 1.4. Lastly, we will modify the scale property, setting it to around 15 to add a sense of depth and complexity to the effect. Alright, in the last step, I am going to apply another effect. This is a Gaussian Blur effect. Now from the Gaussian Blur effect, we have to make the blurriness value around 3. In this way, we have added some gritty and rough edges to our split screens. After that, let's focus on the two layers we have in the timeline by selecting them. Once they are highlighted, right-click to open the context menu. Select Nest. I will name this new nested sequence mat with dirt for clarity and organization. Click OK to finalize the creation of the nested sequence. Next, we will need to adjust the position of this nested sequence. Now, let's continue by creating a new color mat in the project panel. When the settings window appears, we will choose a deep black color, which will serve as the perfect backdrop for our project. Finally, click OK to confirm and create the new color mat. Again, let's focus on the color mat and the top mat layers in the timeline by selecting them. Once they are highlighted, right-click to open the context menu. Among the various options presented, select Nest. I will name this new nested sequence Split Screen Overlay for Clarity and Organization. As you can see, we have our canvas set up with two split screens ready for the next step. It's time to enrich these frames with two distinct videos that will captivate our audience. I have already imported some choice videos into the project panel. To begin, simply drag and drop one of the selected videos on onto the timeline. Once that's done, let's focus on the upper split screen overlay. Here, locate the blending mode property and select Multiply from the drop-down menu. This action will allow the video behind the split screen frame to subtly blend in, creating a cohesive visual experience. Next, we need to fine-tune our video footage by resizing and repositioning it within the split screen frame. This step is crucial to ensure that each video fits perfectly, enhancing the overall composition. Additionally, to eliminate any unwanted distractions from the peripheral 
peripheral areas of our clip, we can apply the crop effect. By following these steps, we've successfully placed the video footage in the left split screen frame. In the same way, we have to place another video footage in the right frame. I have successfully added two distinct videos to our split screen layout, setting the stage for the next enhancement. Now, I am going to incorporate a grain overlay to enrich the visual texture of the video. You can easily obtain the grain overlay by clicking the link provided in the video description. Simply drag and drop it onto the timeline under the split screen layer. Now, let's turn our attention to refining the grain overlay itself. Click on the drop-down menu and select Overlay Mode. This will seamlessly blend the grain texture with the underlying video content. Next, we can trim away any excess areas of the grain overlay. After making these adjustments, take a look at the program monitor. You will notice how beautifully the grain overlay complements the split screen and enhances the overall aesthetics of the video footage, creating a cohesive and immersive viewing experience. In the last step, if you want to add more split screens, we just need to go to the split screen placeholder sequence. Now you have the freedom to effortlessly move, scale, and add a variety of shapes with just a few clicks. Feel free to modify the dimensions of your windows and adjust their placements as you see fit. Let your creativity run wild as you design not only basic forms, but also intricate shapes like stars, circles, triangles, and more. Whatever inspires you in the moment, you can easily duplicate your shape layer as many times as you need, allowing for endless possibilities in your creations. Finally, it's essential to insert your chosen footage into the designated frames of your split-screen layout. By doing so, you can create eye-catching and dynamic split-screens in your videos using Premiere Pro. If you found this video helpful and informative, consider subscribing to our channel for more valuable tips and tutorials to enhance your video editing skills.